game configurations on hand, uh, you're pretty much ready to uh, RNG abuse the flawless Pokemon. And if you have your secret ID, uh, you're pretty much ready to do RNG for a shiny flawless Pokemon. Um, so hit the uh, standard seed searcher bo uh, button and you should get this window. Uh, at the top it should have your configuration. Be sure it has it. As you see, date already has a range. It, it sets it by the day you're at. Um, if this is your first time searching uh, RNG abusing and you're not going for shiny, uh, I advise you to just leave it like this. Just leave it at whatever day it is because, well, shiny um, IVs aren't dependent on dates or times anymore. Uh, pretty much you'll be able to find uh, any flawless IV on any date. Um, hell buttons, uh, the default is set on none and one. That's what I recommend if you're going for a non-shiny flawless Pokemon. If you're going for a shiny one, I suggest you select all of them. Uh, the next box shows uh, IV search parameters. Uh, you can choose from physical flawless, uh, special flawless, uh, special hidden power flawless, or even hex flaws, or you can do your own custom search. You you would just have to type in your own IVs. Um, you see a little box next to it saying Romer. Uh, that box you only have to worry about if you're searching for, say, Tornadus in uh, black or Thunderous in white. Uh, I recommend you read up on those because it can get a bit complicated RNG, RNG for those. Uh, hidden power, you will want to select this if you want to search specifically for a hidden power. So say you want hidden power uh, fire for your pet leo, uh, be sure to check the box and select the appropriate hidden power. Uh, below that box, below that uh, drop down window is uh, the power of it uh, listed as minimum. If you want to go lower, you uh, hidden powers can only be uh, 30 to... 70 base power so if you're not going for any specific one just leave it alone leave it at 70 you want the best the next one the next box is a uh, shiny search parameters this is uh, where you use the PID RNG if you want to search for only shiny if you only want to search for shiny seeds, be sure to select uh, shiny only um, PID type I suggest leaving it at any other time Nature, if you do not have a synchronizer, it is highly recommended that you do select the nature you want. Uh, abilities, uh, most Pokemon, if you haven't noticed, have uh, two abilities. So like, say, Tangela, uh, it has Chlorophyll and Leaf Guard. Uh, abilities, uh, ability listing is a bit strange. Uh, for some reason, I decided to use 0 to symbolize the first ability, which in Tangela's case would be 0. And uh, one for leaf guard. Oh. Gender is obvious. Gender is pretty much obvious. Uh, choose whatever gender you're looking for. If you want a shiny female Tangela, be sure to hit uh, gender female. Uh, ratio. Uh, you may have noticed some Pokemon have a uh, gender ratio. For example, all the starters ha have an 87.5 chance of being male. Obviously, leaving 12.5 chance. If you want to um, get a female Bulbasaur when you start off, for example, um, you select the uh, 1 8 female ratio. That way, you'll be guaranteed to get a shiny female Bulbasaur at the start. Or, I guess in this case, you'd be, if you get, if this is black and white, you'd be guaranteed to get a shiny female Snivy. Uh The sync boxes is pretty much obvious. Um, Excuse, not obvious, excuse me. Um, you'll want to select A if you're searching for um, land. B for C and C for uh, shadows. Speaking of those uh, shadows, uh, you may have noticed the boxes right there. Um, fishing is encounter, dust is encounter, shadows encounter. That pretty much means um, if you want to find a Pokemon in a swirling spot, like say uh, Drillbur, You'll want to uh, select that. Um, so once you find your, once you set whatever you wish, um, just hit search. Now I, I did, I already searched early on, and uh, well, I decided to go for a shiny spread just to show that anyone can do this. 
Um, as you can see, my timer is 0C7F. IV frame is on one, so that means I won't need to advance the IV frame at all. Uh, the start says it's 46, so that's a power to sweet scent immediately. Um, Water is on PID frame 46 as well. Now, I decided to do Wag and Rolla since uh, the ESV, which I sort of neglected to talk about. Uh, if you haven't noticed, um, ESV. Uh, the count slot value. All Pokemon are found at a certain slot, uh, on a certain uh, slot value. So I'll list a website where you can find out where, what slot each Pokemon is. If you're searching, hunting in the wild. But long story short, uh, Rock and Roll is uh, zero in Wellspring Cave, where I'm safe right now. So I'm gonna go hunt for that. So once you find the seed that you like, uh, just double click on it. It'll open up Standard Seed Inspector window. It should have all your info already set right there. In the first box, uh, frame type. This is what I, this is what I was talking about earlier. PID RNG. Uh, this RNG. This there's. If you haven't noticed, if you ha if you don't know, uh, there are two um, random number generators in Pokemon Black and White. One determines uh, shininess, nature, and uh, gender. The other one determines the ID. Hence, one's PID RNG, the other's IV RNG. Uh, so simply, frame type uh, is self-explanatory. If you're in a grass or in a cave, just leave it as that. If you're in the water, be sure to drop down, use a drop down menu just like that. Uh, since rock and roll is only found in the cave, we'll, uh, we'll just hit generate. Um, so there's a listing of frames. Uh, you might as well just hit IV frame, hit generate. Uh, as you can see, my... Uh, Flawless IVs for a rock and, uh, physical Pokemon are on frame 1, so I won't need to do any advancement, which I'll discuss later in the video. If I were to advance to say frame 5, I'd have to take uh, 4 Pokemon and walk 128 steps. Now, you saw, notice this little star right there. That basically means that's a shiny frame. Uh, the standard seed inspector is telling me that my shiny frame is on frame 236, so I would need to advance my, and apparently my starting PID frame is 46, as you can see it's near the top. So I will need to advance 190 frames to get to that particular C, to get to that particular frame. So right now I'm just going to switch over to my DS light to show you exactly what's going to go happen here. Alright, so as you can see, uh, pretty much everything's still the same, 8-5, 2011 is what my day is going to be, 16-25-49, timer 0, C7F, all the same. As you can see, IV frame is uh, frame 1. Now, if you are to advance your um, frame, the best way to do it is with Pokemon in your party. Um, for every 128 steps you take, uh, the IV frame advances by X amount of Pokemon. So let's say I wanted to get to uh, frame 6. I would need to take 5 Pokemon and walk 128 steps to advance it to frame 6 to get uh, 31, 12, 4, 5, 9, 16. PID is a different matter. This is actually why um, RNG abuse in black and white is pretty much is a lot easier than say fourth gen in diamond pearl hard gold and silver and i find it a whole lot e a whole lot easier also than um emerald rng which i hear is very easy but i haven't been able to crack okay so my aim is um 200 and my frame is 236 and if uh if i'm correct my uh, starting pid frame is 46 so i would need to uh advance my pid frame to uh by 190 frames to encounter a shiny rock and roller. Now, it is ideal. Uh, the ideal party to take for a capture project is two, at least one chat hot and a sweet center. Now, why one chat hot? Well, I'll say happy Pikachu again. As I was saying, um, my starting PID is 46 and I need to advance the frame to 190. Chatots advance the PID frame by one each time you hear it. 
It has to have a custom chatter, so be sure your chatter already uh, knows the move chatter and you've already said something to it. You don't need to hear it fully. And if you have two, it makes it go a whole lot faster. So, I'm going to start this up. Again, no AR, so I'm not cheating or anything. And still have a messed up DS light. And I'm sorry for my camera flying over, which is actually an iPhone, but easy, convenient to see. Alright, come on. So, as I said, my date is 8 5. And my time is 16 25. 5, 26. And A. People still do capture projects, even though breeding may be a bit easier in regards to uh, lower PID frames. But, you know, capturing is sometimes easier because, while well, you. So, capturing is sometimes desirable, excuse me, because you want a custom Pokeball. Like, say, you want a Rock and Roll and um, you know, Luxury Ball. So. Again, be sure not to turn on your sea gear. I mentioned the, the way to advance PID is um, by using Chatot. There are other ways. Non-playable characters are one of the worst ways to advance it because it does not remain consistent. So try to avoid them as much as you can. You you shouldn't be doing them if you're uh, barely learning how to RNG. It's they're kind of troublesome. There is, uh, you can also advance the P, um, PID RNG by walking in an area where there's Pokemon. It will advance, walk, walking or turning in an area where there's Pokemon. It'll advance the PID by two. However, this is not recommended if you're inside a cave because you can get, you can lose track easily and what P, what, what PID you land on. So if you're in a cave, I recommend going for one unless you've practiced enough RNG. So, like I said, my IV frame is in one, so I don't need to move anywhere. And so I prefer to just listen to chat tots. That way I'm sure not advancing my IV frame. So it's 190 times, and I've already recorded a custom chatter with it. So let's go. One. Chatters from chat dot. So just back out. Don't go back in, and just uh, use your sweet center. And if everything went correctly... We should have a shiny rock and roller right here. Look at that, shiny rock and roller. That just basically confirms I have a. I got the right one. So I'm just gonna capture this one. Oh, sorry. Fade is green, I'm gonna. I just hope Eldrum doesn't confuse it. Oh, as you saw, I led with Eldrum. This is, uh, Eldrum is one of the best synchronizers. They're easy to capture, just go to, uh, Celestic Tower. Muna is sort of harder. Unless you have other ones. Um, well, basically, we can right there. So, what would look good on Rock and Roll? Uh, Dive Ball. As you saw, male. I don't need to check the IVs because, um. It's pretty much in. No nickname. And if you remember, I said it would be a sassy nature if I didn't bring a synchronizer. As you can see, it's adamant. Often those is off. Shiny, you see the little star right there. If you want to check the IVs for yourself, go ahead. Any uh, calculator will tell you those are flawless. So that's pretty much it. That's how you get a shiny, flawless Pokemon in the wild. Uh, next video, I will discuss how to get a shiny Pokemon, shiny hatch Pokemon.